we're gonna be showing y'all boys how to get approved for a dodge challenger rt yeah, man y'all want to know how to get one of these you at least want to have over a year or two of good uh credit history y'all just to show banks that you good with handling your money managing your money and they want to see if you're gonna make all your payments on time and not have to make them do a repossession on your car stuff what's going on with the youtube it's your boy 345 german in today's video man we're gonna be showing y'all boys how to get approved for a dodge challenger rt and i'm gonna be explaining on what factors slash like pretty much steps on what you got to do to get y'all one of these and to get approved from a bank to get the one that you actually want man so make sure y'all boys stick to the end i'm gonna try to go in depth on it i'm gonna try to um make sure i don't miss any steps and i'm gonna do like another video on like how to maintain it and stuff like that as well too but they're just gonna show y'all how to get approved for it in this video man so make sure y'all boys take it all the way to the end hey right, y'all so the first thing um is the total price of the car so y'all what y'all y'all probably like john what do you mean by that so like say if you're trying to get your rt and that bitch had like thirty thousand. I apologize for my language job, but say if it's like at 30,000, 25,000, anywhere from that range or anything, but you never had any car loan or anything yet, and you don't got no credit built for real stuff like that, you most likely won't get approved because this is your first car that you're trying to get from a bank as, first as, as well as your first car loan and shit like that. They might not approve you the first time if you don't got no credit history. And some other factors. I'm about to explain those factors in a second. Make sure y'all looking for one that's in a good pricing so y'all can have a better chance that being uh, approved for one hey, y'all so now we're going to talk about the down payment so y'all what y'all want to do for the down payment is y'all want to at least put down 10 to 20 percent of the car so y'all probably like jaron what do you mean by 10 to 20 percent of the car so what i mean by that say if the car is thirty thousand, which is uh i'm gonna say i put down 10 percent. 10 percent will pretty much be three thousand dollars y'all so that'll be a three thousand dollar down payment for this car but that still wouldn't be enough y'all but y'all usually want to stay in the 10 percent range to the 20 percent range so if this is your first car loan y'all allowed typically say to go to the 20 percent range so if the car thirty thousand what is uh thirty thousand divided by two um i think you got to put down like six racks y'all you feel me i say put it on six thousand to be on the safe side i ain't gonna do the math right now because i'm not the smartest you feel me i ain't trying to do all that but um like i said man you want to at least put down 10 to 20 percent i put down uh i think 15 percent on the safe side just to, uh make sure nobody like tried to take it and shit like that because this car was on the market and there was a couple people trying to get my car when i was trying to get it at the time as well y'all okay step number three y'all it would be the apr y'all so y'all mean y'all probably like john where's the apr so the apr is the interest rate based on your car um based off of your credit charge and it's all based off of your credit and stuff like that charge so if your credit is in a real good place uh your apr to be in a good place it all depends on how your credit scores is y'all so y'all want your credit scores to be as good as possible y'all want no hard inquiries y'all want no no um anything bad on the charge y'all know what i'm trying to say y'all just want to make sure it's in the best condition possible for y'all to get one of these cards because like i said the banks is going to look at this first and they're going to try to determine if they want to give y'all the loan for this car or not y'all so Y'all wanted to be in the best standing as possible when y'all trying to get approved for one of these. All right, y'all, and on to the fourth one, we're going to talk about the term, y'all. So when y'all looking for these, y'all most likely probably want to try to go for the four to uh, three-year term. Sometimes you can go for the five. It depends on how much miles you got on the car, y'all. But I say you try to go for the three to four-year term on a car um, and try to find one with the lowest amount of miles possible on the car. Y'all don't want to get no car that got over, I'll say, 30,000 miles. For me, that's like my limit for me when I'm trying to look for a car. This one that came with 35,000, so I accepted what it had. It wasn't too bad. And then, like I said, if y'all look at the body of the car and, and the color, shape, reels, everything, I'm like, you know what, I'll, I'll settle down with it. But y'all don't want to go over 30,000. That's what I said for my limit because y'all got to understand when y'all having these cars for over three to four years, that mile, the mileage going to be in 100K. You feel me? That mile is going to be in 100,000. You feel me? Over three to four years. You feel me? So try to look for the lowest amount of miles, y'all, because like I said, you be putting on a, uh, you're gonna be putting on a, on a contract pretty much to pay this car off within these certain amount of years. All right, y'all, on to the sixth one, y'all, or the fifth one, one of the two. But this one got to do with your credit history, y'all. So if y'all do not got no long credit history, you will not get approved for one of these because they want to see how long you was able to keep up with your money and how you manage your money, if that makes sense. So you at least want to have over a year or two 
of good uh, credit history, y'all, just to show banks that you're good with handling your money, managing your money, and they want to see if you're going to make all your payments on time and not have to make them do a repossession on your car, stuff like that, y'all. So that's also a factor. Credit history matter, y'all. Y'all want at least a year or two. Mines, when I got mines, it was at like eight months, so it was good enough for them to just determine if they wanted to give it to me. And I was in a good standard when I was trying to get approved for it as well, too, y'all. So on to the sixth one, I believe, or it's either the seventh one. All right, y'all, and this one got to do with your driving record, y'all. If you got a bad driving record, y'all, they wouldn't want to get this to y'all. If y'all, say if y'all got four accidents, they're going to be like, no, why would we give it to them if we feel like you're going to crash this one, too, be the fifth accident, you feel me, y'all? So... I want to make sure I got a clean driving record, y'all. A clean driving record matter. Like I said, all of these factors matter when you're trying to get your car and stuff like that, man. So make sure you got you a clean driving record. No accidents, no tickets, no speeding tickets, not getting uh, no parking tickets. Anything like that, y'all. Make sure your driving record and your license is in a good standing as well as your credit because that also matters as well, y'all. They want to see who you is and how you manage your money and how you spend your money. They want to know pretty much a lot about you, y'all. So... Y'all gotta make sure that everything is in the right, uh, everything is in the right place and everything is set before you try to get approved for these and y'all don't go and waste your time, man. But we gonna tell y'all about the credit score, you feel me? So when you get in one of these cars, y'all usually want to be around a 650 plus to 700, anything from the 650 above and 700 range, y'all. So I don't know if y'all know, y'all, everybody should have three different credit bureaus and you want all three of them to at least be in the 650 range, y'all, at least. If anything below it, it might be way harder to get it, but I know I was in the 650 range when I was trying to get a proof of mine, so y'all gotta make sure all three of y'all credit bureaus is, is all set before y'all trying to get a proof of one of these, because like I said, man, it's most likely y'all won't get the car either, so. That'll be um, like the credit range on what you should have. Like I said, man, 650 above, anything above is way better. But 650 at the minimum, you are trying to get it anything lower than that before you go on in the dealership and they running your credit and they pulling it down. Because like I said, when you're also going in there, they pull your credit down as well, y'all. So and then we're gonna tell y'all the last one. The last one I would say y'all is go to more than one dealership, y'all. If y'all go to one dealership and y'all stuck on that same dealership, you might not get the car. You feel me? So so wanna also have a couple of dealerships in mind. Um what other cars that you looked at and you're saying that you liked so if you didn't have the first option you got the second one available you feel me y'all just want to have more than one option y'all don't never stay stuck on one unless you really feel like you're gonna get that one but like i said have more than one dealership in mind so you go from spot to spot you compare and contrast which one's better off the miles off the color off the trim anything y'all know what i'm trying to say man so that'll pretty much be like the last one y'all um, I'm gonna make another video on this on how to maintain it and stuff like that y'all. I'm gonna show y'all extra stuff I hope I explained it good enough for y'all um, But we're gonna end this video off right here, man So make sure you like comment share, subscribe and we're gonna end the video off man. Peace Look at my racks solid. I see the grass getting long snakes. I'm gonna mow it. I'm gonna blow like brown Racks on me. I'm sorry. Talk here top of the morning. I'm in the car got motion Big man, rock can't fall